hi guys welcome back to my channel all right to start off we're going to be working with two cutouts of crepe material 30 inches in length and 18 inches in width so we put them together just like this two cutouts we put it together and run our stitches all round okay so this is what it looks like after running it all round i ran it all round and then i left a little bit of space where i can be able to turn it inside out so that's what i'm doing now i'm turning it inside out now after turning it inside out we are going to iron it but before you iron it i give it a hard press this area where i open i'm taking it back to my machine to close it up okay so this is what it looks like after closing it up then you go ahead and iron it give it a good, very good press next you're going to be placing your mark hole in the middle just find the balance where you can put it your mark hole you can find your mark hole with any shoemaker of your choice there are some fascinator sellers too they do sell mark hole. so i put it in the middle and i tried my best to make sure that it's in the middle so just use the eyes to gauge it once you put it in the middle you gauge it and then you run your stitch like my fingers are showing you right now this is after running the stitch this is what it looks like after running the stitch now to close up that area that it's a bit open before you do that you're going to be working with your elastic band so i'm putting this elastic band right at the the edge before you close it up and then put it there and then stitch it together right after stitching it you want to drag your elastic very hard in order to run your stitch and hold it down that way your elastic or rather your head cap will have an elastic and you'll be able to draw it i don't know if i'm explaining it very well but probably when you see it you understand what i mean so you have to drag it first of all just drag it and then stitch it so what i'm trying to say is that once you drag it and stitch it when in fact any client wearing the head cap it will be able to fit that person because there is an elastic at the back so i'm repeating the same thing i did on the right hand side to the left hand side so i'm putting the elastic in and then i'm going to run the stitch over Now I'm dragging the elastic and then running my stitch on top of it. Don't worry, don't be scared. That's my little baby's hand over there. So next I'm going to be cutting off the excess elastic then I'll go ahead put the two ends together and then close it up Alright, so this is what it looks like after closing it up together. Next, we are going to be forming a gathers all round from the point where I joined it down to where my hand is pointing. We are going to be forming a gathers. If you have gotten to this point of this video and you already like what you're seeing, please tap on that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed before and to my old subscribers i want to say a very big thank you i see you guys i see what you guys do and all the comments you drop 
thank you so much don't forget to like my video share it and comment if you have any question i'm always here for you i will answer you and if you have anything you want me to make any picture you feel you don't know how to do and you want me to make it you can reach out to me on my social media hand you can find the link on my bio i'm always here for you guys thank you so much So at this point i'm going to be pulling the gathers that i formed and next i'm going to be securing it by knotting my needle and thread so what i'm doing right now is to turn it inside out turning it back to the right side so this is what it looks like what the cap looks like Now this was what I was talking about, the elastic that I put behind, so it can fit into any head size. Next, I cut out another length of 45 inches and width of 8 inches of the same fabric that I used in making the cap. Now I'm going to be closing it like this and then I'm going to run my stitch all through down. So this is what it looks like after running my stitch all through. Next, I'm going to be turning it inside out. Next, we're going to be using this foam. And I doubled this slim foam. It actually half an inch foam. So I doubled it to make it one inch foam. Cut out the same length of the fabric that I have here. And I'm fixing it right inside. So after putting in the foam, you're going to be folding it. And then stitching it down to the cap. Like in an inverted way. You're going to be doing this with your needle and thread. right now what i'm doing now is to use my needle and thread to tack down the twist that i made onto the cap i'm doing it in such a way that my needle and thread will not be showing at the back of the cap so i'm sort of putting the needle inside where i have my marker and then i'm tacking it down gradually i'm going to be running this all around the reason why i'm doing this is so that that twist will not be moving up and down or shaking so you just want to hold want to hold this frame now i'm sorry that the video is not so clear i didn't know i wasn't focused in the middle sorry about that but i know you understand what i'm saying now we are done tacking down the twist and this is the outcome so you remember that SS foam that we cut out? I'm going to be using it to form a kind of a bow and I'm going to be attaching it at the back of this my head here. So this is it. And mind you, when you're attaching it with your needle and thread, try not to stitch on the elastic. Thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.